Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's uh, about 10 to 1 here in the UK. Uh, and uh, I'm looking at the S&P 500. Uh, and uh, this is the overnight chart. Uh, it's a 30 minute chart of the S&P 500. And uh, it's pulled back uh, st uh, strongly uh, this morning. Uh, and those of you that are watching the Forex markets will have seen the dollars increased pretty much against everything this morning. Uh, I, I don't think it's the end of the world, folks, because uh, I would expect the market to have pulled back to this last old top anyway, which is about 3069, 3070. And if I put on my old friend uh, Fib here, uh, we can see that taken to that extreme yesterday afternoon, that makes a confluence of the 61% retracement. Uh, those of you that uh, know uh, my work will know that I'm very fond of a pattern made famous by a chap called Harold McKinley Gartley. And uh, Gartley used to say that if you have a, let's see if I can draw this for you, uh, if we have a thrust uh, and then three rows back to here, oh, David, to here, get used to vector vest. It keeps the uh, trend line running when you're using it, uh, which is quite really quite handy. It took me a long time to get used to it, but very handy. Uh, and and down to about here. And that would be the three waves back. So Mr. Gartley said that if you get a thrust plus a three waves back, he called that a Gartley 222, two, two, uh, found by my friend Larry Pesavetis on page 222 of uh, Mr. Gartley's book. So I shall be looking uh, this afternoon, folks. I don't do anything until the floor opens in regular trading hours. But if I see some reaction uh, at around uh, the... Uh, uh, 3069, 3070 level, then I would be tempted into a long position here this afternoon. Uh, below that level, uh, then I think that we can touch these lows down the 3000 level again. So a critical level on the S&P this afternoon, and I assure you that even if you're holding UK shares, uh, they in fact uh, uh, will respond to that. I see in this little sell-off this morning that the FTSE's down about 60 ticks. Okay, so uh, uh, a high probability pattern, uh, the Gartley, uh, it, it's like everything I try and do, folks, it's, it's not trying to predict the future. It's allowing us to have, uh, to be able to enter into a position with a very, very, very small risk with a, a much, much, much bigger reward. So I'm doing my best to optimize my trading to try and push up that reward to risk as much as possible. The Gartley pattern uh, has got a really tight stop loss in relation to uh, the reward. And uh, the reward would quite simply be, if again I put on my Fib tool and I go from the high down to the low, if it does get back there. And uh, if I go pull up. The target would be a 1.618 extension of that, which would be 3138, which would be very nice indeed. So if I saw this uh, low around um, uh, three, uh, 3070 uh, hanging in there, uh, maybe it prints a doji, uh, maybe it prints an outside bar would be first prize on the 30 minute chart or the one hour chart, then it can quite easily get up to uh, uh, this target uh, 3138 uh, and that would be very nice indeed. Below this level then there's a considerable danger that this market can fall further. Uh, I won't do anything onto the, onto the uh, I see the floor of the New York Stock Exchange opening at half past two UK time. I hope that helps uh, and it shows you how I go about trying to uh, look at confluences of uh, three things. Trend lines and I think there is something here uh, old highs, old resistance becoming support, and then uh, Fibonacci. And uh, where those three things come together, invariably you get a very strong support level. Thanks very much indeed. I'll do another video on the stock market later on if I get a moment.